Hello everyone, the is a 30 back here again with another how to play today. We're going to look at how to play Quirkle Remy, also known as Quirkle the Card Game, depending on the version you might have, which is a little bit harder to find. I, I, I can't recall if I found this on Amazon or it's on eBay. Well, it's not super hard to find. It's definitely out. In fact, I know Target carries it, and I was going to get it from Target, but Target does not ship anything unless you order like $35 worth of stuff and I wasn't going to do that <laughs> anyway it is by Mindware and is for 2 to 4 players ages 8 and up it is a set collecting game you can see here well sort of set collecting I guess it's a, it's a rummy based game and you're trying to create sets Anyone can add cards to a set or switch cards. And what you're trying to do is complete a set of six cards, which is called a quirkle, a quirkle. And this is based on a, a popular game using tiles, which I do have as well, but won't be looking at it. A quirkle, let's see if I still have some in here. <laughs> or if I mixed it all up. Well, I'll get the start of the quirkle here. Just bear with me. I'll tell you what a quirkle is right now. Well, shortly. <laughs> So, and by the way, this game, if you don't notice, don't know, is colorblind friendly, as you can see there's different amount of pips in the corners. Well, that, that's a poor example. There is different amount of pips per color. So, that's thumbs up for me. So, a quirk roll is when you get a set of six cards as follows. Six cards that are all the same symbol, but different colors. That is a quirk roll. Or... When you get six cards that are all the same color, but each of the different symbols. And the different symbols, you got squares, circles, diamonds. It's kind of a plus symbol, kind of a star, and then kind of a ninja star type thing. Pretty cool. Same symbols as you get in the actual game of tiles. And to me, I find that this game is very similar to Rummy Cube and how it's played. And I, I'm a big fan of Rummy Cube. And I think the problem with some people, I, I, I know there's, you know, some people who really like this game, some people who do not like this game because of the Rummy Cube type aspects. Because in regular Quirko, you're not really allowed to move pieces around. It's almost dominoes-like. You lay pieces down, and you can add to that, but you can't move them around. In this case, you can move cards around. In fact, it says right in the name, mix, match, switch, and win. And what you're trying to do is make quirkles. Once you've made a set of six cards of quirkles, like I said, it's a lot of cards that are all the same pip count slash color, all the same shape without any duplicates. You collect those into a set. And you keep going until you've gone through all the cards. And at the end, whoever has collected the most quirkles wins the game. So once you've shuffled everything up, each player is going to get nine cards. We'll just do two players. Obviously, you're going to deal one at a time to each player, but I'm doing this for sake of speed. We'll set the rest aside. And you're going to look at your cards. Once you need to turn, you can start a new set or add to an existing set or switch cards around to make new sets. And you can do more than one of these things in your turn. 
You can keep making moves as long as you are able to. A set consists of at least three cards that share one attribute, even they all have the same, even they're all the same um, shape or pip count color, slash color. So let's see if I got any sets. I do, actually. So I have this set here of four cards that are all the same color at different shapes. And uh, I can do another one, actually. And then my turn is over. And you do not have to, you know, play your largest set, but you can. If nobody has a set to start off the game, cards are reshuffled and dealt back out. You said note. You can start with a set of less than three cards if you're able to move cards around and add to that set, as long as it's going to be Three cards by the time you're done. So I'm sure we'll look at it a bit. Now, whoever has the largest set of cards that are all one shape or color would start if there's a tie the oldest person goes first so i don't even check this guy to see what they have i don't think they have a set larger than what i had but they can play let's see what they got here they got two potential sets they can either play that because they're all the same color and different or they could play three diamonds in different colors if they wanted to and that's what they're going to do. We're going to play these three diamonds. And actually, no, wait, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. He's going to play these cards here. Now he has a set of six that are all different shapes. And these are all different shapes, but the same color. That's a corkle. He gets to take that and save it for later. And does he have anything else he can do? No. So his turn is over. Comes back to me. Since I can't play, I get to draw a card. I still can't play. So that ends my turn. Actually, I, I, I lied. So when your turn is over, you're going to draw back up the nine cards. They sort of reminded me of that at the start, not the very end. So... I draw back up to nine. This guy's gonna draw back up to nine now that he's finished playing. And now it's my turn again. Let's see what I have collected here, what I can play, what I'm going to do. So, I'm gonna play these three circles into a set. These are all different colors. I'm also going to play these two. This is where you can play only two cards, because I'm going to take this one and move it over here. And that is going to conclude my turn, so I got four cards. I draw back up to nine. Let's see what my opponent's going to do here. He's got some diamonds. He's He can't play any green ones because he's got a square and a diamond. Is already a square and a diamond. He can't play these circles. In fact, he will. No, he won't. Well, he will. There's a danger in doing this because I now have five circles here. If my opponent has the other circle, the green one, he will get a corkle. Now, there is a green one there, so maybe he doesn't have one. Maybe he does. I don't recall how many there are of each color. 
He cannot play any more circles because he has a duplicate color. Same with these stars. And he doesn't have enough to make another set out of anything, unfortunately. So, I'm going to draw back up. And it's my turn. Do I have the green circle? I do. So I can play that and make a quirkle. Let's see what else I can do. Whatever damage. <laughs> um, well, I can play these into a set. Which is three of them. And I believe that's it for my turn here. And again, if I wanted to, if I had another color of this card, I could take this, move it over here, and play the other card here, but I did not. But yeah, that's basically the game. I'm gonna keep going around, see. This guy can move that one over here and play this one here if he wants to. Unfortunately, he can still not make a quirkle there, but he can also play these ones here. And that ends his turn. So you're going to keep going around back and forth until you've gone through this entire deck of cards and made as many quirkles as you can. At the end of the game, you might be swapping a bunch of cards around and making quirkles, potentially. But, yeah, that, that's basically the game. That's all you have to keep in mind. Is it going to be playing cards down in sets of three or more that are all the same color but different shapes or all the same shape but different colors once you get a complete set of six. That is a quirkle, and you take it, put it into your hand or next to you at the end of the game. Whoever has the most quirkles wins the game. It's pretty simple. I like it. I know some people dislike it because you could be just like moving cards all over the place. It is what it is. I, I don't mind it. So that is that. I think if you like games like Rummy Cube or Quirkle, you will like this one. So that is that. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. More thanks for watching.